first, there's a story that has been making headlines through the weekend, uh, that is of uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, who spoke during a leaders meeting um, of uh, Ukambani leaders. And he's quoted saying that uh, should the law be reviewed, then he would be okay to support President Kenyatta for another term. And it's, it's been causing a lot of uh, reactions. We see that Governor Alfred Mutua uh, dismissing the party leader of WIPA, Kalonzo Musioka's proposal to scrap presidential term limit. And um, even though Kalonzo has since claimed that he was misquoted over the remarks suggesting he supports President Uru Kenyatta's continued stay in power. Uh, but um, Whatever the case may be, because we're going to get that uh, up sound in a few minutes, I'm just wondering, what was this about? He's your party leader. What was it about? Yeah. Sam, I, I, I didn't attend that meeting, mm -hmm. but I watched it in the news mm -hmm. on a Friday evening. Actually, I watched it on your station mm -hmm. uh, with Sam Thanks Ogina. For yeah, Sam Ogina <laughs> reporting. And uh, I, I, frankly, I was shocked mm -hmm. on two accounts. Mm -hmm. Uh, number one, uh, you'll show the clip. Mm -hmm. I, I know the Honorable Kalonzo said he was misquoted, mm -hmm. uh, but the clip said if uh, we change the constitution and Uhuru wants to go ahead, we will support him. Mm -hmm. uh, now what we don't know is what does ahead mean? Does that mean that Uhuru goes ahead as a president? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will assume that because Honorable Kalonzo went ahead again and said, mm -hmm. but if Uhuru tells me Nibebe Muzigo, mm -hmm. ata the ambele. Now, we, we know Honorable Kalonzo has said he wants to be the president. So mm -hmm. we can only assume that he also meant yes. that if Uhuru wants a third term, we'll support him. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I think as a person, it's wrong on two levels. Mm -hmm. Number one, we have term limits for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that we can give somebody 10 years for their ideas to take the country forward. Then after that, we allow another able Kenyan, another 10 years mm -hmm. to take the country, pick it up where it is and take it a little further. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the very essence of progress. Mm -hmm. And that's why we voted overwhelmingly for our constitution. Right. Uh, that's what multi-party, Honorable Raila and all these other champions of multi-partism fought for so hard mm. so that we can have term limits for presidents and we don't have a life presidency and we give other people a chance to showcase their ideas. Mm -hmm. So if indeed that's what Honorable Kalonzo meant, I humbly uh, and on principle disagree with him. Mm -hmm. Another thing that uh, again I didn't think was, uh, uh, was in order was to say that we'll get all the big political parties mm -hmm. and form one big political party so that we can all be inclusive mm -hmm. and uh, move forward with one big coalition. Mm -hmm. I think he called it a juggernaut or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so who is going to check the government? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's been proven in everyday life, right. in business, uh, in politics, that competition is healthy. Mm. Yeah. Now, if you go and get, even in business now, our, our law, uh, says that you can't have a dominant player. Yeah, mm. there's a competition authority that ensures businesses compete because when there's competition, the person who gains the most is the, the customer, consumer, right. is the consumer. Mm -hmm. Here, if there's political competition, the person who gains the most is the Mwananchi because they have a choice to pick who they want to serve them. Now, if you go and pick everybody and create one big canoe, you're just going back to the Kanu days where you had one political party okay. and you saw the problems that came with that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I saw the clips and I didn't agree with some of those sentiments. Let's listen to what uh, the, vice, uh, the former vice president had to say and then uh, we can bring in uh, Mushmo Elachi on this. We are on a journey. And this journey, Comma Rock 2, begins in earnest. And I'm here suggesting Kwamba Tungani with other communities Tumsaidie ndugu huru muigai Kenyatta. Kama muigai huru Kenyatta, huru Kenyatta atasema after the new constitution tumeiunda. Na aseme ndugu Kalonzo mimi nataka kuendelea mbele. Nitamwambia nitakusupport. I say that. Okay, I get what you mean. So, was he misquoted? Okay, what is that? I, I don't want to say misquoted or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, people read in many things. But I think, now when I listen to him, mm -hmm. he says, Tuki tengeneza hii kitu, this new constitution, Nanduguhuru aseme. 
Now, it, is, it depends. But I just want to tell my former vice president, the, the biggest challenge that he will always face is people read directly. <laughs> <laughs> they don't read the meanings of what you're saying. They read directly what you say. And that is why you find yourself in all these mm -hmm. challenges. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You know, we will vilify the former vice president, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember when uh, Murade uh, spoke uh, about uh, all these things. Mm -hmm. He had so many, some who are supporting, some who are. So Kenyans like pretending. But you'll find many of the Kalonzos <laughs> within Kenyans. So for me, I'll say, let us follow what the Constitution is saying. Uh, th th that would be the best for our country. Okay. And, and by the way, we are just putting our president into so many things. Mm. To me, when I look at my president, he's very clear. He wants to help us support this country to move to the next level, and he wants to leave it in dignity and live. And because he knows within his age he can do everything within the African context, and he's a president who believes in Pan-Africanism. Mm -hmm. He knows he can move at the continental level and do a lot. Mm -hmm. So some of these things we will talk. But in the end of the day, our president, he knows what the constitution says. So uh, to me, I've listened to Kalonzo, and I will say the same thing. He said, within the context of the new, and let us not lie, mm. you can be so surprised how many Kenyans will be saying, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, because of this corruption, I don't know, because of that, they will. Mm. But we are saying, let us follow what the law says. Yeah. Let us accept our constitution has been very democratic in terms of uh, the presidency, and I would wish we leave it that way. We can expand on what you're thinking and bring in all this. Okay. But the limit of both the governors and the president must be. Respected. This is um, respect this that. is a tradition that um, was born in 1992. After the 1992 election, yes. that's, that's where President yeah. Moy left in 2002. Yeah. And it was fought for very, 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 very much. We should yeah. not go back yeah. to and, our and, life and presidency. And my president, Uhuru Muigai, will never allow. Mm -hmm. Not in his leadership. No, he would not allow that.